are the T-Mac 3s good hooping shoes? Let's go find out. So today we got the T-Mac 3. This shoe has been redone and I like the colorway. I had this shoe back when I was in middle school, when I was on the hoop squad. So if anything, it's just for memorabilia. This is a shoe that I actually play organized basketball in. So for looks, I'm gonna give this shoe a five out of five. That's the only thing that's getting a five out of five today. Unfortunately, this is the worst shoe that I've hooped in. Traction. For traction, I'm going to give it a two out of five. Not the best, it doesn't squeak. However, on the sole it says no marking. Okay, so I guess it doesn't leave any marks on the court. For my research, the shoe doesn't have to squeak to perform well, but I did not find the traction to be all that great. So I'm going to give it a two. Shock absorption, it's not bad. I'm going to give it a three out of five, all right? Jumping and dunking, I'm going to give it a solid three and a half. If the shoe feels bulky, it's heavy, and it's a low top shoe. So I imagine that this shoe would be better for outdoor courts. Here you is like synthetic leather. Then you got like some uh, different kind of material here that go with those stripes. It kind of reflects a little bit. It's kind of comfortable. And another thing that you got to take into consideration is I've, I've felt a lot of heel slippage, even though I tied the shoe up as tight as it can go. All right. And I still experience heel slippage in my original size. So if you do get this shoe and you're going to play basketball in it, I imagine that you're going to have to go down half a size. This shoe requires some break in. OK, when I first get, got in the shoe, it hurt my foot. In fact, I was not able to perform any dunks or backflips the first day, but I was determined to break the shoe in so that I can get you guys a review for the shoe, all right? I do not recommend this shoe to hoop in, but if you're a collector like I am, um, I find this a good pickup. It'll cost you around 90 bucks. Overall performance, I'm gonna give this shoe a 2.5 for overall performance. I just don't see myself hooping in this shoe, and I guess that's why you don't see a lot of people hooping in this shoe, man because it's not all that good, all right? I just wanna say that, but I do like the looks of it. It does feel like it's quality, all right? I'm gonna try it outdoors. So keep a lookout for part two sometime down in the future. We're gonna take this out outdoors and see what it can do. It's your boy Breezy, peace out.